why aromas are so important to cannabis and why they're important to you and your team at Abstracts. Yeah, so cannabis aromas really, I mean, they're really responsible for driving that consumer experience. So when consumers are purchasing, whether that be concentrates, vape pens, flower pre-rolls, um, they may be buying these based on how they like, how it smells and tastes, right? And to understand more about why it smells the way it does and tastes the way it does, we want to understand more about the chemistry behind these aromas. And the understanding of this research is really important to us as a company because we have an extraction facility. Um, obviously, we create flavor and terpene blends for various customers, but also just really we're curious to see, like, why does... I mean, we understand why OG smells skunky and gassy, but why now do GMOs smell garlicky and savory? Why do Zittles and Runts and all the other exotics, tangies, smell fruity, tropical, gassy oranges? Like, where are all these smells and aromas coming from? And can we start correlating the chemistry to the human sensory aspect? Because, and as a company, when we start, we were working on this for about two, three years now um, before we published it. But really, it was around like I think November 2022, we started seeing regulatory um, agencies come out with new regulations stating that cannabis was not fruity or sweet or um, savory, right? We've seen mm. this in California. And this isn't, this isn't anything malicious, right? This is just because there was no data and information showing that out in the marketplace. Testing labs couldn't really test for it. And there's no publications. And so we knew we had all this data in-house and we were working towards this publication. Like, hey, we really need to tell the story right and show people that, hey, there is more to the plant than we may understand at this time. That We know why it smells and tastes grapey, right? Why does GDP have that grape note? Why does Blackberry Kush have those dark berry notes? We understand the chemistries behind this. And this is empower um, important, powerful information, not only for regulators, people doing cultivation, genetic, like breed, genetic breeding, um, extraction, the whole gambit of the industry could benefit from this information because then you can utilize this to better improve products and consumer experiences. And when you look at publications like Addie Ray and Ethan Russo's publication, they're looking at, and they show that the consumer experience, how much, how good that experience is for the consumer, how positive it is was correlated to how positive they perceive the aroma to be, right? So understanding more of this is going to help give better experiences to not only existing consumers, but new entry consumers coming into the industry who may be interested to try cannabis. Excellent. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up A.D. Ray and her um, her study there. She was a guest on the podcast. I'll put a link to that one too. People can really go down the rabbit hole. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was really interesting where... Yeah, she would have folks in the study smell different types of cannabis and rate how 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 good they thought they smelled and then actually consume it and kind of rate their experience and saw a correlation where if you like the way it smelled, you tended to like the experience, which was pretty, pretty powerful. 100%, right? I mean, it, it's just going to show that understanding more about why it smells and tastes the way it does is super important for whole wide ranging um, different product types and our understanding of this industry and trying to, again, empower consumers to make more educated decisions and get better experience of the products, right? I mean, a lot of people who've been either in the industry or have consumed cannabis, a lot of people have bad experiences and bad stories, right? Maybe if we have more education and more understanding of what's going on, we can avoid those circumstances and those, those bad experiences.